Welcome to another Red Gaming Tech video. Um, this is Global Offensive, the weapons video. I've been asked by several people to do this. Um, and please bear in mind, it's the beta and not all the weapons are in. But I'm going to just run you through the weapons, kind of giving you my initial um, thoughts and so on. First thing I'll show you is the weapons wheel. As you can see, all the weapons so far in the beta are in and they give you the respective firepower and so on. I'm not going to bother to read it out as you can just pause the video. You'll notice one or two weapons have actually had their price changed. Um, I believe the AK-47 is one of them. As you can see, there's a lot more grenades and other things, and they will be shown in the video, so you can kind of get an idea what they do, just because, really. So, And that, is, of course, is the AK-47. first weapon I'll show you is the CT's M4A1. Bear in mind, I cannot show you the ultimate fire uh, unless something broken in my version. It is not enabled. So, um, I haven't played Couch Cry Global Offensive greatly online yet. I'm still mostly sticking with the older versions. Um, but to be honest, I haven't really had much time to play um, any of them simply because of work and other commitments. But I'll give you guys the best possible view I can of the accuracy and so on. Um, if you ask or this video proves relatively popular, I'll make another server um, and then have blind dummies or something just so we can kind of get an idea of just, you know, damage that the weapons can draw. As you can see, the M4A1 handles fairly similar to the other one. There's a few changes, but um, I didn't notice a great deal of difference. So, My overall impression so far of the beta, though, is fairly good. Pretty much all the weapons handle how you'd expect them, there are a few differences, but if you're um, used to source or whatever, it, you will have to make a few adjustments, but it's not so bad that you're, you know, you're not actually going to be able to, to shoot anything, for the most part it's pretty good. Um, as you can see, I'm just choosing the orm or orp or whatever you wish to call it. And I'll just do a few basic shots. I'm not going to try and show you anything skillful in this video. It's it's just to kind of give you guys an idea of what um, has changed and what hasn't changed. As you can see, the animations for, the uh, for the weapons have changed slightly. And you can just still do, for the most part, the quick swap with the AWP. Um, and it pretty much handles how you'd expect. Accuracy-wise, it seems just as accurate as it ever was particularly on a non-moving, if you're non-moving. Um, when you're walking, it's so-so. When you're running, you may as well just forget it, as you'd expect. Reload times are about the same as well. They might have been slightly faster, but I'm not comparing this to anything. And to be honest, I don't think there is any difference. I used to actually be a really huge Counter-Strike player back in the day of 1.6 and uh, Condition Zero's release, but then for a long time I just haven't played really. Um, I kind of got out of the FPS game uh, competitively and whatever else. I used to you know, play on quite a lot of clan servers, but I quit uh, many years ago now because um, I got into other games such as uh, World of Warcraft and what have you and then fighting games for a long time. This is the Scout. Um, 
much more accurate, of course, than uh, the Orm, and of course you move faster. So pretty much everything that you'd expect um, of the weapon is pretty much still intact. As you can see, I'm using a couple of bullet marks already just to kind of use them as almost targets, to kind of paint between the lines with bullets, if you will. As you can see, not exactly anything particularly skillful going on. I'm just using it as a really crude, rudimentary demo for you guys. I'm sure some guys out there could do a lot better than this, but hey, um, it's just going to have to do, I'm afraid. If any of you have better ideas of how to test this, or what have you, um, if you have anything you'd like to see, once again, please comment, message me, what have you. I'm more than willing to set something up. I'll quickly show you guys the grenades. This is, of course, the high explosive grenade. As you can see, it looks kind of pretty. The Molotov, Molotov cocktail, shall I say. And yes, I do deliberately walk into the fire so you guys can get an idea of the damage over time. It's basically um, area of effect. It's quite nice, I assume, for momentarily sealing off an area. Obviously, no one wants to walk through flames. Um, I'll show you the smoke. Pretty much as standard, obviously quite thick and so on. Um, and of course the second new addition, the distraction grenade or what have you. It, as you can see, makes a series of loud pops which sounds like gunfire. I'm sure that will have its uses. And finally, of course, the good old fashioned flashbang. Of course I walked into it as close as possible to the initial flash. Just to get maximum effect, I'll show you guys the Desert Eagle. It actually feels a little bit of a lighter weapon. Um, I didn't really play Source that much. I played 1.6, as I said, in Edition Zero quite a lot. But um, back, as I said, a few years ago. But this weapon does feel a bit lighter. It seems to fire a little bit faster. Accuracy wise, it's pretty much on the dime. I must admit, I'm very much looking forward to the new update for the data. This, of course, is, is shall I say, the terrorist weapon. A lot. You'll notice, of course, you've got some bullets and so on. This, well, I'm pretty sure everyone knows it's the AK-47. I'm just doing the spray and pray route a little bit. And I'm trying to kind of counter it. As you can see, I'm just moving the reticle in different directions, such as, you know, the reverse L and up left. Just different directions, just so you can kind of get an idea what happens as you're moving and looking. And I'm just doing a few um, random bursts, just so you can kind of see. As I've said, it, it's not a particularly um, scientific approach, but I just wanted to give you guys an idea. Um, for all we know, the weapons could change greatly, and you know, the AK-47 could be firing you know, purple elephants from it at the end of the beta. Which could actually be more deadly than bullets, if you think about it. I'll just show you guys one final few things. As you can see, of course, I'm sure you'd already know this, but of course doors and what have you are still porous. In other words, if you shoot through something thicker than one block, of course, it will get rid of the bullets. And I'll just show you a wall. So I hope you guys have found this at least slightly interesting. Um, I'll be trying to put out some more content when they release a pack. Hopefully I'll be able to give you guys some new maps um, and show you guys my personal favourite map, at least, uh, Aztec. Not exactly the most balanced map, but I do really like it. Hopefully they've done something to balance it out. Um, and 
I'll be able to give you guys hopefully some demonstrations of some of the new weapons. So anyway, I hope you guys can like, subscribe and do all that good stuff and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.